When you go in the military, every, everything is laid out for you. Once you get out in the civilian world, you're pretty much, you're on your own. Pearson Crosby served two tours as a U.S. Marine in Iraq's Anbar province from 2004 until 2008. Let's go! Last year, he was arrested after an ambulance he called found he had been driving while under the influence, even though it was prescribed painkillers. I don't see how the amount of medication I was prescribed can be seen as responsible. Well, he became an addict. I didn't like, go out on the street and buy the stuff, but I knew what I could say to my doctors in order for them to give me prescription meds. It's really about struggle reintegrating after experiencing the trauma of war. And many are turning to drugs and alcohol to cope, and they're winding up in the criminal justice system. Crosby's arrest in Philadelphia led him to a program that's little known, but rapidly spreading across America. It's called Veterans Treatment Court. Veterans Treatment Courts ensure that when veterans return home after experiencing the trauma of war and have trouble reintegrating on the home front, that they have access to the structure, treatment, and mentoring they need to get their lives back on track. It's a little like a 12 steps program, but varied in length and designed case by case. At a county level, we now have the federal government in the courtroom to offer services for our veterans. Patrick Dugan is a judge at Philadelphia Municipal Court. He's also a combat vet himself, a captain in the U.S. Army Reserve's JAG Corps, and he presides over the veterans court here one of the first in the nation. It's not soft on crime. We're not cutting them breaks. We're actually tougher on the veterans, tougher in the sense that we expect more out of them. The first Veterans Court was founded six years ago in Buffalo, New York. Now there are 197 of them, helping 10,000 veterans. Only those battling a substance abuse or a mental health disorder are admitted. And I say to them, I need you to be the person that you were when you served your nation, when you felt proud when you graduated from boot camp or basic. Vets who complete their programs graduate from court. Class, two tack, one, three. Their charges right dropped hand, and records expunged. That's what Crosby has to look forward to this week. I don't know if if I hadn't have got, gotten arrested that I would have been serious about getting off the medication and working on worked on getting better for myself. With the help of Dugan's court, Crosby is drug-free, living with his long-term girlfriend and looking forward to going back to college. But the couple says that the veterans' courts are just one of the many steps that the U.S. needs to take for its veterans, including the over two and a half million who, like Crosby, served in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Before you're having people that need to use the services that veterans' court has to offer, um, there needs to be a period coming out of the military, uh, some kind of transitional program. I think that if that was there, the need for veterans court wouldn't be as strong. A need that's growing, with more than 700,000 veterans now caught up in the correction system. Inez Novacic, CBS News.